We're back, and it's time for Piastall Battle 2. Quick view of our stats. This is right after the Lappin Battle. So, we got that Berserker mail on, as well as the Captain's Hat. Uh, no real changes aside from, from that. So, oops, just... Let's, uh, see what she has to say beforehand. Yeah, you said that last time. And you said that last time. <laughs> you have not been searching for Vice for seven years. Are you kidding me? When he was, what, like 11? What, do you have a crush on him or something? Oh, he shot her down. That's her revenge. I get it. Still, that's, that's kind of crazy. Hold a grudge for that long. Now, this fight's not that different from the first one. Uh, major difference, of course, is, you know, Enrique instead of Drachma. Let's switch him over to Fire, because we still got to take care of that Death Hound. I think we can get away with not doing a uh, Delta Shield right off the bat. I think we're gonna we're gonna risk it here. We're gonna try and take out that dog. As long as she doesn't kill Fina. All right, that should be all right. Okay, just as long as Deathhound doesn't attack Aka. We do have a way to counter. I believe Fina has Lunar Winds. I was gonna check that ahead of time, but she should have it. It's what if she had it last in the? Uh, I think she has it. If not, that would be a good thing to have. Be able to get rid of that. Uh, Incrum that Deathhound can handle. Oh, you are. Oh ho ho! Take that. He did not succeed. I thought for sure Aiko was going down. Okay, so. Okay, let's get up our defenses here. Do we have a Sekrulin Crystal? Yes, we do. We can afford to use that. There's no sense in being stingy. And let us just to shield it up. We're going to have some good defense going this round. And that dog will be gone. Hopefully she doesn't kill Aika first. Hey, she, she did. And we're going to waste the Sekulin Crystal. But that's alright. I don't believe this is a fight where she has a Ternace yet. In one of the fights, she does get Eternes, which will, you know, hit all and instant kill everybody. So let's lay it on her. And we should have some Rizlum Crystal. We do. Hate having to waste it, but what can you do? We gotta be sure to defend now. This shouldn't be actually uh, too hard, though, to take her out. Tempest Dance isn't much when you cut it in half. Even for Fina. Yeah, yeah, see, that would have killed her. Of course, Vice with his Incrum is, is doing some decent damage, and of course, the uh, Berserker Mail and Captain's Hat. I mean, come on, the, the Captain's Hat is ridiculous. Plus 50 or whatever it gives. Okay. Well, hang on, she's blue now. Well, she was always blue, I just forgot to switch over. Let's see, Cutlass Fury, and... Nope, can't Cutlass Fury. I want to keep my defense up here. Delta Shield. Oh, you're hurt. And we better heal you. Now, my luck, she'll target Fina. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, even if you think it's safe, she'll nail you with that. Okay, Fina's nice and healthy for now, so we can have her focus next turn. While we cut this fury it up.
this is in the bag. I mean, round two is so much easier with Enrique just protecting everybody instead of having Drachma be in a spirit powerhouse. Plus, I mean, Vice is... I forgot she could do that. That's not cool. That is not cool, man. Well, we don't have to uh, hold back for Justice Shield. We will have to uh, have Fina use Curia Crystals on him, though. I had totally forgot she could petrify with her weapon. You'd think with a scythe it would be instant death, but thankfully it is not. That would be ridiculous. No, you do not petrify Vice. Thank you. We would have actually been in trouble, and I would have been eating my words of saying this was in the bag. Let's try this. But that is not the case now, is it? Of course it would be Enrique being the one getting petrified. Eh? 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 Get it? Eh? Eh? Okay, we can have her spirited up. Since she's protected this round by Justice Shield. And by Delta Shield. At least I think she's protected. She should be. That should not be enough to kill her. Nope, not even close. And this music still thinks we're losing. Come on. Music, you know I'm gonna win. You should know this. Hmm, not faster than her, so I guess I'll just attack. And just hope she doesn't attack Fina first, because nobody's faster than Piasta. She's like one of the... You know, I don't know if she is the quickest enemy in the game. She may be. I've never really looked it up. That'd be something interesting to see. I think she might be. I mean, she's just leaps and bounds faster than Aika is. Of course, I mean, as a reminder, Aika and Enrique are able to go first because they their S moves have a priority, and they always go first. Unless the enemy is using a move that always goes first as well. And it's faster. Then I think it goes down to agility or whatnot again. And just an uneventful battle now, isn't it? You know what? What kind of magic do we have going on here? We got a lot of red. Let's change it up to purple. Why not? You can defend because I don't know if it stacks or not, but we can see if she uses Tempest Dance. Hey, Enrique. I press start, you know. You didn't have to go through all that. You could have listened. I swear, these windows on some of these are just so thin, or slim, or whatever you want to call it. You, you gotta press it just as it starts, or it's gonna go with the whole animation. Because we got Enrique and his giant pansy move of defending everyone for massive defense. Look at that, wrapped up in like nine minutes. Nothing real, real valuable out of the fight, so... Because you're a woman! Nah, just kidding. Oh, she's getting all emo on us. Frickin' Piasta. I thought you were cool. Just let it go, you got dumped, bitch. And she's gone. So, until next time, when we do whatever the next one is, I can't remember. Later. <laughs>